Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. So, still continuing on. We finally lost one ship. So, I'm taking our destroyers off the um, convoy raiding and going straight back onto convoy escorts. And there's nothing really here I actually need, though. Military Academy wouldn't be bad, because it does grant us extra recruitable population, because we are low on that. But I'm also saving up my political power to try and get either the greater good, melting pot, or cultural norms. And then balance approach for law enforcement. That was more of a sideshow. I think that was added in by Dry Level Legions, but I haven't tried that. Not particularly interested. Right, two to go with. The reason I'm going to be getting these light tanks is to try and add some thumb armor to the shock troops I'm going to get later. Because I'm going to be sending shock troops abroad once I've got the population for it. So, standardized manufacturer means we get less armor and defense, but they're cheaper. Whereas the Great Southern Railways Workshop, that's just a flat production decrease. Standardized production, again, same as the tank manufacturer. This only applies to light and medium. And Harland and Wolf, infantry tanks give armor and... Extra armor for less speed. Well, I think Great Southern Railways is the only one that makes any sense here. I'm also going to start doing submarines because they are far better at combat warfare than anything else. Do I go with that? Am I going with the basic torpedo tubes because we need to get them out I and mean, we need to get them out quick. I'm going to go with the radar though because it's not that, that much of a change. And as is my habit, I'm going with the John Holland class after the Irishman who pretty much invented the modern submarine. And I'm just going to finish up that convoy. These should be enough. It's only, that's only about 2,000, which is basically going to double our Navy, but it'll be very effective. And still waiting for these to be fully upgraded. I'm not going to bother with any of these until I have the spare fire, it's just not worth it. How much should we actually do here? Eh, we did. We probably set a fire on the Francesco Ferruccio. Yeah, not much. As far as this war is going, hmm. They're still due to lack of supplies. But the Italians and Germans can't quite push us back. I'll take it. Uh, South Africa wants to buy some of our trains. That's fine with me. Excellent. Our army egg XP is always good. And we get some in extra intel on them. 
and spread these guys back out a bit more. So, actually, I could start um, building up building up intel networks in North Africa just to try and help with that. Yep, we're taking out submarines. So, let's give us extra heart attack. Tank and armor variants might be useful later, but we're mostly infantry. So, I'm gonna go with it with this line. Also, realize that some of these are they may not have made a good good decision here, though. This has changed from the base game. In the base game, it's pretty much always only worth going with the, with bold attack for the extra attack. And I'll probably change this to um, relief of command once I have the spare. God damn it! I can't English today. Once I have the spare XP, I'm going to change it back to the um, Relief of Command one. That's actually a pretty good doctor to go with all around. I wonder how this will be improved if I build up some extra... Extra infrastructure. Infrastructure is quick and cheap to build. Yeah, that's pretty much all of what our contributions are. Submarines, building, spy work. Not exactly flashy, but it'll do. A man wants to buy convoys. Probably won't arrive because these aren't clear. Second escort is on convoy escorts. Oh, ah, yeah, going after submarines. You can probably class this as, as a defeat, but let's be honest. If we drive them off, that's good enough. Yeah, these are listed as defeats because we didn't sink anything. But we damaged them. As far as I'm concerned, that's good enough. Oh, we have an ace pilot. Let's meet him. Frank Paddy Lynch. Did you get any more stereotypical? All right. Yeah, but no. Hmm. I think I might actually go with. I mean, poor construction speed isn't worth anything to me because I can only build them on my territory. Extra factory output, extra resource gain, that would be good. I'll go with that because long term I might want to replace Douglas Hyde with our ca a captain of industry or possibly this mastermind codebreaker. Reminds me, I never got around to building that. Well, now's probably time to do it. Again, a defeat because we didn't sink anything.
Okay, our first submarines. New commander. In hindsight, this may not have been my best idea. I'm going to go with instilled aggression now. Should have done that at the first. I never claim to be the best player at this game, but there you have it. It wants trucks. Uh, they're probably just not gonna ever. After this, I'm probably just going to take a into improving field hospitals. I need to get I need to get all this stuff just so I can get modern logistics because that decreases supply consumption, which is huge. Okay, I'm going to send in. Oh, that's great because he needs the experience and this isn't the most impressing place to have an agent so he's probably buying some oil less enemy submarine one less problem Yep, that's not what it is. Okay. Problem Still fighting a defensive and an offensive war because of reasons. I just, I'm just gonna quit this. So extra liability is always good. Efficiency cap is always good. These because they can get we can get more of them. Sooner and they'll use less fuel. Liability breakthrough, good. Sloping armor. I'm inclined to go with the improved ergonomics because if they can't use it, they can't, can't use it. If it's too cramped, they're just not going to be able to use it. We actually lost some, some of our newer cast planes there. British Raj wants gone, boys. It's fine with me. Still producing them, I am.
I really think a loss of steel here. So why we're exporting it, because we need that for our own uses, but well, what the hell. Race. Let's look at this one a minute. Gonna sell off these some of these older planes as well. Maybe fifty of them. Just to leave us left. We're still replacing them anyway. Sweden wants to buy them. Okay. Looks like a lot of convoys now. America wants, wants what we can send them. Right? I'm fine with that. So, building some infrastructure appears to have helped with the supply issue. Yeah, and it makes sense. Oh, look at that. We are technically no longer short of manpower. Let's scale that back a little bit just so I can move on to other things. No, it doesn't take long to build infrastructure, but still is time I could be using on using to build it elsewhere. Start splitting these guys up a bit more. We've lost another destroyer somewhere. Yeah, that's probably going to be wasted. Oh. Maybe I should research paratroopers and have them drop in here. Ah, no, the transport planes, so no. This guy's up a bit, just to get that AXP up. This really isn't much use to me now, but... Might as well use it. Oh, might as well just leave this for now. Because it's not much use to me.
that might have made a difference there. Just being able to get the supplies through. I think one of my next upgrades is going to be like for submarine detection. Try this. Submarine warfare, you say? Tell me more. Welcome back, Fionn. I'm gonna put you on counterintelligence over in Britain just to give them some fire support there. Support. I mean. They're starting to they're starting to push back. They try stealing one of these ciphers off. Risky, but I think, especially since we'll need that at some point anyway. You know, in hindsight, if I was going to go with field hospitals, I probably should have got this first, then got the bonus. Oh well. Honduras. What are they going to do? Yeah, we've lost a little bit of stability now, but nothing critical. We're going to get this quicker, all these railways. I'm put all these forts down at the bottom because they're not as critical. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra base stability right now. Doesn't cost me much. Probably update the um, small arms we have. Just give us extra. So to breakthrough. I think that's worth upgrading for. Especially since it actually saves us a bit of steel now. Short of them, but better to have it and not. The main problem I have with sending troops is I have no way to do that without losing them to submarines.
You forged, you say? Armored division. Hmm. Don't really have any tanks to put the, in this. even though we damaged the enemy submarines because we're not sinking them. Um, maybe I'll join the um, technology sharing focus in a bit just to use some of this. I mean, I'm researching all this stuff that it's not really, I'm not really using it. Updated the breakthrough. I'll leave that for now. there's a way to we can't really build tungsten oh well right that works for me so yeah i've just lost a chunk of political power push Totally worth this. Of course, he's dead. Wait. Now, which of these do I go with? Probably air superiority. What I really want is this. But I gotta get at least one of these first. Yeah, well. So yeah, joining a technology sharing group means we get bonus for everyone who has researched a particular tech. It's at most 50%, so a lot of the stuff I'm already getting isn't going to be much use to another person on the team. But there's other things I've researched that they might not have. Again, just building up infrastructure so I can get infrastructure and railways just so I can get supplies through quicker.
So basically, this is the research bonus. Max 50%. Doesn't provide much to the rest of the team, but it does help. Might be time to start building some of these light tanks, or design them anyway. Ah, so this time I will actually be providing a little bit of a, a benefit to the other rest of the team. Uh, one of the mods I have is a uh, year to pack around Rolls Royce armored car. Radio, brute radio for the extra defense and not for any breakthrough. change this to a close support gun. Change this to a three-man turret. So we have some breakthrough. Something about her. Let's see. Her skirts doesn't add much. Extra ammo. Should probably start looking at the um liability is not great. Put diesel. Basically, this is gonna be be supporting salt troops on the bush. I need to get some more military factories. And I need to start researching the soul troops I'm going to be using. Stop infantry. There. Helps with that. Right, I'm gonna start splitting off some of these better ones. And they will do some convoy raising here, Cap Verde Plain. Put them on, engage at high risk so that they will, if they do run into any enemy screens, they'll attack anyway. One of them has to go and repair, but I'm actually okay with it. Yeah. All right. Next. I'm not sure how the experience gain works. I think it does go very slowly tick up as they just run their networks. And running these operations gives an even larger chunk, but don't quote me on that. It's paradox. I don't know how they're I don't think anyone does. Yeah. Can I add another... I uh, nope, don't have enough for another thing. Yes. 
another another some sunk. That's bad. The next little save, I'm gonna stop and move and go on to the next. I'm gonna stop the video there. Waiting for that to happen. There we are. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.